Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkian Wiersma and I'm an Arcade Grower from the Netherlands. So yeah, it's Wednesday again. It's almost uh, uh, getting uh, into a theme on my uh, channel, but I think now for several uh, weeks, probably two months or even more, uh, I post a, a repotting video every Wednesday. I didn't plan on it, but I keep uh, kept on asking uh, you guys, your viewers, if you didn't get bothered with them. But uh, you, you apparently didn't, so I did uh, get some great comments on that. So therefore I, uh, I thought, well, I'm going to continue with, uh, with filming them. And I do get it because I uh, did, uh, did and do like still the repotting videos. It's always nice to see how other growers grow their orchids, so what kind of methods they have. And maybe you can, uh, can get something out of that video that you can use for your own uh, environment, for your own plants, etc. etc. So uh, yeah, I, mean, I kind of get it. So thank you for letting me know that you don't get bothered with these uh, <laughs> these uh, repotting and up-potting videos. So today, today uh, I'm going to uh, do a up-potting on this Brasia Verona, Verona with some ferns in but i will take those out because i uh, i do like ferns but not uh, in the same pot as my orchids uh, but you can see here i think yeah there's a new growth coming well it's really pushing to the edge of the pot uh, and i thought i had another one but it doesn't matter that much it just needs a little bit more room to grow it's uh, it's obviously planning on uh, getting a bit bigger so that's uh, that's okay of course so let's uh, let's give her some room to do that I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit don't want to make you seasick of course but now you can see what we are doing over here let me check yes I have an old leaf that can come out and another one <laughs> and I have here my cable tie on this pot which is easy so I can really lift it out fairly uh, fairly easy a lot of fern roots I can see. So here is that uh, cable tie on the edge of the pot, just above the name tag. So you can reach your pots a bit better if you grow them a little bit deeper inside of an outer pot. And this one, yeah, we're going to check the roots. They are a bit on the dark side, so I'm not completely sure if they are still alive. But yeah, it looks like they start shooting out. And we have quite some roots coming uh, underneath of the pot. And I think those are more fern roots, to be honest. But one living root. Can we see it there? Yeah, there you can see it. So anyhow, let's uh, let's take it out of uh, out of the pot. First, I need to put a tag aside. Yeah, it might need a little bit more cleaning up in the root system than the others I did previously. But we uh, will proceed. First we need to uh, take it out of the pot. Uh, there it is already. So yeah. Letting the media fall down. Let me take out the water meter. So we can reuse that later on. Ferns need to go. More ferns. Let me try to take those out first. And hopefully those root systems with it, but <laughs> no, not much. More ferns. Oh, these are very tight. So I'm going to loosen up this a little bit. So I can loosen up these roots. And thereby I can check them better. No, they they are firm. They are very firm actually. Not fern, but firm. <laughs> well, not all of them, I believe, but still. So that's doing better than I thought. That happens more often. That the roots are darker, and thereby I, th I think, well, maybe they are dead, but they aren't. At least not all of them. But I do check a little bit more. Yeah, these. No, I can squeeze on them what I want, but uh, well, actually, of course, they will break some sometime. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing there. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy again. <laughs> but I have this root, for example. It's a very 
brown root and I get a velamen and I try to pull it off but it doesn't come off so thereby I know it's uh, still alive and I'm going to leave it and you can see probably here this root very dark but here it starts to lighten up and we have some lighter points on this those are new branches so yeah dark roots but uh, but alive so I'm going to leave those but we have a fairly big fern here that needs to come off as well not off it needs to go <laughs> but it's not that easy to reach for me like I said though I don't want the pots with my orchids you see it's only only this uh, amount of roots I can take with it where we had quite some roots in the pot so those those will be fine I uh, I had it happen before but I will not got do get much um, rot issues even though we left quite some roots there so therefore I'm uh, not afraid to take them uh, take the leaves of the ferns off even though it might kill the kill the fern and thereby leave it with the roots like I said they uh, are fine they will not uh, start to rot or at least not in an amount that it's uh, uh, it's it's not beneficial anymore for the orchid because some rot is a beneficial <laughs> because it does break down some nutrients for example so a little bit is not the end of the world I'm not saying that the rot inside of the pot is beneficial, but I just mean that I'm going to explain it a little bit. If we have fertilizer and the fertilizer needs to be broken down, therefore we have, uh, we need the bacteria. So the plant of course needs the bacteria and it's, it's also a sort of rotting process. Kind of similar in, in my explanation. It's a very simple explanation. So that don't get me wrong, but uh, I hope you uh, know what I mean. So a little bit, not the end of the world. I'm going to leave it like this. It's doing fine. Fine, fine, fine. So I'm going to clean up and then we uh, will uh, find a new uh, home for this one. So she can grow on for hopefully at least two more years. Okay. So I have everything ready to give her a uh, new home with more room. And <laughs> you may already guess it because the last couple of uppottings I used quite a lot of these guys, these net uh, baskets and uh, I do this because there are several reasons for it first of all I like the idea of a little bit of extra air around the roots even though I keep it moist and it keeps on being moist because this spot is not as high so therefore we still have the wicking effect of the pumice in this, uh, in this case and I will not have a, a much uh, of a dry layer maybe a, a, a slightly drier layer and and uh, so in these spots it does uh, work pretty pretty well uh, this is 19 and a half centimeters so it's a nice nice sized pot and it, it's very very cheap in comparison to the more transparent orchid pots those are very uh, expensive especially if you get uh, need a bigger sizes plus they are way higher in most cases so that's why I use these guys very uh, like uh, I said very cheap and for me a very nice solution I did try started using them about a year ago and now I think just to test them out on a few orchids and a few more and more and you will see me using them more and more in my videos because I like them and I do get quite a nice results I also had a first um, up potting uh, from an orchid in this net, uh, net basket it's a Miltonia if I don't forget I will put a link up uh, and I'm talking about it because you might wonder if all the roots start to get out how do you up pot it well I explained it in that video and you will see me cut the edge of the pot and it's fairly easy this plastic isn't that as thick so it's quite easy to work with so uh, quite a lot of pluses for uh, this type of pots uh, I think so therefore uh, like I said you see me use them quite more in my videos because they uh, they do the job so well and I did need my water meter so I need to uh, get it back I did already uh, put it in uh, in the kitchen my orchid kitchen <laughs> where I clean everything but I'm uh, going to reuse it 
I'm starting with a layer of pumice. Otherwise, the orchid will be put at uh, way too low inside of the pot. So let me check if I didn't uh, have it too high or too low still. No, this is perfect. So let me put that sheet a little bit to the side so that new growth can uh, shoot her roots nicely into the media. Let me pick out a few roots. This is the media it came out of, which I'm going to reuse. And just a few roots, old roots that are needed to go out. And now it can go in the pot. Oops. Apparently a bit on my floor. <laughs> there we go. That's the beauty of uh, inorganic media. You can reuse it. It's so beautiful. And these odd pottings, right? I mean, so, so easy. In most cases, if the orchids do well, at least that's how I grow them. How I grow them. I know some, uh, some orchid growers still like to uh, get them out and uh, clean up their root systems completely, which is fine, of course. It works for them. I must admit, I just like to... Uh, to leave them alone as much as I can. So if I don't have to pull out a few uh, older roots or more, I'm just gonna leave them and they will grow on perfectly fine. I think we don't need to be too clean with our orchids. Some, uh, we will have some bacterias in there. Like I said, the uh, rotting bacterias, I call them <laughs> earlier in this video. And that's okay, that's, that's perfectly fine. But you don't need rot completely in your pot. But that's how nature works, in my uh, in my opinion. There's always something rotting, which means that it's uh, thereby becoming f food, fertilizer for different things, as also for our plants. So that's a little bit my theory uh, uh, behind it. But I must admit, I, I'm I'm no certainly no expert on it. But I try to think about it and just try to think about it as logic as I can but uh, that's it <laughs> I don't have numbers or or uh, researches on this that much but just uh, own experience which are sometimes the best because that is in your climate of course in your environment like you see me uh, watching this repot and you might think well Maybe I'm going to uh, try the pumice, the off-the-shelf watering, the same hydroponic setup, and it's just not working for your environment. That could be the case. You never know. So therefore, you might not have much directly on uh, 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 on this uh, video, you might think, but it might inspire you to, to at least try things out, new things. Even though some people say, no, I never should do that because this and that. And there's sometimes a reason for, of course, but sometimes I just try things out. And, and that's how I, I found these quotation marks. I found these net pots and they do wonders for me. So I'm so happy that I, I again, quotation marks, <laughs> risk a few orchids on them just to see how they would uh, react to them. And so far I do get beautiful results. And I think it is because I now have an even better balance between the water, the moisture around the roots, plus the air. Because these pots are so open, I didn't have any pots as open as these guys. And still, I can keep it moist enough in summer, so the roots, the water roots don't die off of these plants. They keep on growing and they can absorb the air, breathe in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you get the point. So therefore, yeah. Just sometimes you need to try things out. Don't be too afraid, I think. And also with trying out means that you also need to, uh, to uh, know and to be uh, prepared. Let's, uh, that's a better word, to be prepared to have some losses. And not that you, you will uh, lose uh, much plant or anything if you are, uh, are uh, watching it closely, you can interfere uh, when needed. But uh, yeah, 
sometimes you need to uh, to not to be too afraid of course don't uh, try it on your most precious orchids <laughs> the ones that most of the times are hard to get but just a few and see how it works so i'm going to flush it and then uh, we will have a last look at it in the, in the greenhouse i'll see uh, lives over here where i do uh, grow my other uh, brushia types and one is actually beautiful in bloom that's, that's not why we are here <laughs> she's next to it the uh, verona i put a tag back in with the uh, actual upcoming date and yes you might wonder why i leave these stickers on because i barely can take them off that's really annoying with these stickers so i hope that they will get wet and then i can take it off so yeah i apologize i don't like the look of it at all maybe you wondered why but that's why it's it's still there i hate it but yeah the the it, it don't uh, doesn't want to come off properly so anyhow and i also um thought i should mention that i'm there's the light coming from and a little bit of from of above of course so i'm always try to uh, train my uh, new growths a little bit by turning it around and letting them grow up uh, as straight as possible so you don't have these uh, leaning over new growth that take up way too much space which actually shouldn't be necessary so i try to uh, train uh, train them a little bit and that's why i don't have this face directly towards the light I, i'm going to let those new growths look for the light and thereby i can uh, like i said train them a little this one is etching over quite a bit already i should put the pot a little bit more like so i think well actually a bit further something like this so it will try to go back for the light again and thereby otherwise it will grow like this like i said and it will take up way too much space it's not needed so therefore i uh, try to train them and not always succeed in uh, training them like this but it uh, really does help for sure so uh uh, yeah, I think that's uh, uh, basically everything uh, for, uh, for now on this orchid. So as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I just want to say thank you for watching to the, this video. <laughs> and I really, really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.